Hey guys, it's Camille. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how you can actually have two keyboard layouts in your computer and uh, either switching between them from one language to another or actually merging it together into one layout. So you don't need to do any switching. You can access all your extra characters, uh, letters in your language uh, without swapping uh, between them. Although that second solution uh, is a little bit technical, but nevertheless, most people will be able to do it. So um, let me give you um, my situation because yours might be similar. So I have a UK keyboard uh, because I live in, in the UK in London uh, and I use it obviously every day. Uh, and I type a lot in English, but very often I also type in Polish. And in Polish there are some extra characters uh, that are not in English and uh, I need to swap it, uh, swap the keyboard layout and that's a little bit annoying. So what I would normally do, uh, let me show you on the screen, um, I would go to, because we want to change keyboards, I would go to, well not to keyboard, but to language, that's in the in control panel. And um, thank you, Microsoft, for making it so uh, logical for us. And then I would have, um, so English would be one program, uh, sorry, language. And then I would add another language. And um, what I can do, I can go by the language name or I can go by writing system. It doesn't matter. So let's say I choose writing system and I'm going through, through Cyrillic, uh, Latin script. That's where we want Latin. And here is in English. Ah, English I already have. So I'm looking for Polish. Yes, Polski, Polish. And I would add it. And then I would have two uh, language keyboards uh, or two languages, so to say. Um, and if you notice, I immediately got this um, this thing here. The, the language bar. Uh, so I have English and Polish uh, with Polish programmers uh, keyboard layout. Um, so I would need to either go here and swap the languages or I would need to use the keyboard shortcut which is Control shift or oh, it's not working or maybe it's old sorry it's old shift somehow it's not working and uh, maybe I change the um, uh, the defaults and okay it doesn't matter and um, but that solution although it was quite good it didn't work for me because Microsoft Office would drive me crazy for example I would start a PowerPoint and I would have it set uh, the key my keyboard layout here would be set to Polish and PowerPoint would immediately uh, change the spell checker from English to Polish and I would start writing something in English and that drove me crazy and then it's impossible to um, bulk change that back to English it's, it's just crazy again Microsoft thank you for making it so complicated and, and for messing things up for people so that didn't work for me so I found another solution I simply removed Polish I went to English options and there is an add an input method. By the way, I'm working in Windows 8.1. So if you're working in other uh, versions of Windows, it might be different for you. And um, now, so I went to, to here and then I found Polish. And let's, uh, let's look for, yes, Polish uh, programmers. Yeah, no, that's not the one. Polish programmers, not touch layout, touch keyboard layout. Um, programmers custom or oh, that's the one I created actually custom as well but let's say that was Polish programmers and um, don't worry about the custom and I would add it and here we go um, I would click save and then again a language bar would show up and this time it's both English however this is a different keyboard layout and I can swap it by uh, now that should be working yeah by clicking on um, old uh, shift so you see now it's the top one now I click old shift and now it's uh, the bottom one yeah however again swapping that many times a day it's not really fun it drives me crazy also there is a different a difference between Polish and, and UK layout for example the at and um, inverted commas keys they're swapped uh, also there is a um, pound uh, sign whereas on Polish keyboard uh, there it isn't uh, and, and I use pound sign quite 
often as well obviously because I live in the UK uh, so that wasn't a good solution it was driving me crazy and finally I found a way to do it with custom keyboards so how do we create custom keyboards so as you can see let me go and clean it up uh, so I'm gonna remove this one I don't need it save it if I go to options and go to add an input method you could see these are the the keyboards and I already have key custom UK United Kingdom custom 2 there is no preview available uh, I'll show you how to make uh, available so for example I'm using United Kingdom custom this is my f original one and preview is available I'll, I'll show you how to do it as well it doesn't matter really um, so how do we create custom keyboards mm -hmm. what you need to do you need to go to a Microsoft website and download Microsoft keyboard layout creator 1.4 uh, simply download install it this program works uh, on most of uh, Windows uh, in editions so it works even on Windows 2000 so it will work on Windows XP Windows 2003 server Vista 7 8 and 8.1 and probably Windows 10 as well so download it and let's see uh, what we do with that later on so keyboard we've got yeah keyboard Microsoft keyboard layout okay I start the creator and what I suggest you do you go actually to a help file click on content and read through all those things especially the last one using uh, this Microsoft this program Microsoft keyboard layout creator and go through creating keyboards validation it, it might look a little bit scary but believe me it's not it's actually uh, after 10 minutes you'll be an expert so here you go uh, these keys you cannot change them so uh, what you need to do you need to load existing keyboard so you need to choose what keyboard you want to start with so I started with a UK keyboard English keyboard so we're going down and English here is only India so we need to go further until we find United Kingdom so that was my starting point you see I've created two more uh, so I loaded that so we you wait a moment until it lo it's loaded and here it is here are all the keys now um, first thing you need to do is to go to properties and make sure that there is a short name eight characters long and um, the first time you do it doesn't matter it will be zero one by default which is all right and the description make sure that you're happy with it uh, don't change those things unless you know what you're doing again help file will explain United Kingdom just to confirm this doesn't matter you can type your name and then uh, click OK if you make changes second thing that you need to do is to go to uh, options and make sure that you've got exactly the same layout because you can see the enter key is different on many keyboards so on my keyboard the one that I have in front of me my enter key is like this there are keyboards with enter like that or like that so make sure that you've got the right one again there are some options you can read about them in the help file so make sure that you have that okay so what to do next so we've loaded the United keyboard uh, layout we base it on it and then I'm going to make some editing so in Polish I press old uh, GR or old graph uh, graphic uh, or alternative graphic so which is right old right alternative key and then I press another letter for example A or E uh, or Z or X uh, so how do we get that we click here and immediately we see what characters are um, assigned to old uh, GR or, or write old character and we can see in English uh, keyboard layout this is the character that's assigned so uh, what I'm going to do I want to make some changes instead of this one I click on it I want to have Polish L and then I click OK and you obviously change whatever way you like or maybe you want to change keys with control uh, or shift for example you might want to change change this okay so um, I've changed my letter L and I'm happy now I'm going to do the same thing for capital L so again I'm gonna press shift right and bang if you can't find the letter 
uh, obviously you need to find a way of finding that letter if you cannot type it in uh, you can use those um, uh, things here uh, again I'm not going to teach you how to do it you need to research on how to do that but the easiest thing is is to google the given text with that character and Google will, will show you the right spelling. Let's say I, I want to find that letter L. Uh, let me. I need to think of a word in Polish that has that letter. Uh, maybe. Uh, obviously, I can type it here. Uh, so I'm, uh, let's say I'm looking in Polish. So I would need to actually create a, a sentence in Polish. So Google knows that it's Polish. So let's say. Um, Let's say I'm, I don't have the, the published keyboard. Ten kupić Okay, and here we go. I've got a letter. I found uh, found it, so I can just copy that character. Control C, and then I can simply paste it uh, here. But obviously now I need need this as a capital letter. By the way, I don't think you, I will ever need a capital. But who knows? I, ah, yeah, maybe if I type everything in capitals, I will need that letter okay so I click OK and I'm and let's say I've done now uh, all <laughs> all the keyboards uh, sorry the keys and the characters I wanted to change I have changed and I'm happy with it so here's an, in, another important thing I need to click validate layout you see this is something funny is happening Val verification failed oh this is no good let's see the characters exist uh, it's probably because I have another keyboard with certain things and this uh, so I've got two other keyboards selected with those uh, uh, already letters and this program prevents me from creating multiple kind of uh, overlapping keyboards so you need to be really careful when you use it don't uh, create too many make sure that you delete or uninstall um, things so I'm gonna show you how to do it so uh, let's let me reverse uh, what I've done and create something different here. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I want this to be Q. Okay, uh, and this one again. I want it to be Q. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, and then let's see if that works now. Verification failed okay obviously that doesn't work so let's say I just want to delete it okay that should work uh -huh. and then shift I just want to delete it okay verification failed hmm hmm okay so let's see what it says. It's already defined more than once on a keyboard. Okay, it will not allow me. Okay, it will not allow me to uh, create it again. And it shows me which keyboard's what state. Okay, so I cannot. That's very clever. Uh, but this is empty, so which character it doesn't like? Okay, maybe it doesn't like that uh, UK keyboard anyway. So in that case, I'm going to do something different. Let's say I'm going to uh, load existing keyboard and I'm gonna base it on, uh, uh, on let's say, publish this time. I'm gonna choose not programmers because I've already created one custom one, but just this one, just in case. Yeah, it will clear everything, okay. Here we go. Now if I click, yeah, I've got, oh, I don't have published characters here. Okay, so let's say now I want to create some Polish characters. So, okay, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna type or paste my character that I want. That's okay. And shift. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna do it now. So let's say, now let's check, fingers crossed. Yeah, success, hooray. Okay, so um, we've got a success. Would you like to see the log? Uh, yes, you can see there are some warnings, okay, and then uh, this is all right. So what we need to do is now the last thing, almost the last thing, is to click build DLL and set up package. So let's click on it. 
okay uh, was successfully uh, built at and there is a folder given and that is the folder where I which <laughs> I have here actually uh, would you like to open this directory uh, yes and now what I need to do I simply need to run it and install it I don't want to do it actually uh, frankly speaking because I don't want to mess up my uh, computer any, any longer and also for this to work you would need to log off obviously you can also restart the computer but you at least need to log off uh, so um, or actually yeah let me run it for you you just run it yeah polish 214 keyboard custom has been successfully installed click close yeah and if you if you log off and then go here and here add an input method you will see it somewhere in the list so I've got my UK uh, custom 2 United Kingdom custom 2 and uh, I used to United States International custom 2 as well which is the one I created and then my uh, the one I'm using now I don't see the Polish one because I haven't logged off yet so uh, I'm going to remove it so I click again run the same program remove the keyboard finish yes successfully removed yes thank you okay so I removed that and uh, basically that's it now once I logged off uh, or once you log off it should be working for you you won't have any language bar just one uh, keyboard merged kind of two keyboard layouts merged together in one uh, keyboard layout custom keyboard layout now I, th I told you I promised that I'll show you how to make uh, that preview available as well uh, like here the preview is available well there is another website uh, let's say this one uh, answers Microsoft there is an article that's the title of it and it's from the January the 18th 2013 and it shows you that you need to, uh, after running the setup, you need to go to given, uh, this is the registry key, so you need to be familiar with how to use registry edit, and then change this name, that appear, what, you need to find what that name is, it will start with A, and but the numbers might be different, and change it into this number. Uh, I th I'm not sure if that works for more, uh, keyboard layouts only once because I'm not sure if you can have duplicate nu numbers maybe you can uh, but it worked for me for for one language at least uh, so that's how you do it so I hope you found that um, informative and helpful and thank you for watching see you in the next videos take care guys have an awesome life